Hello everybody, Comrade Kelly here. Welcome back to World Conquer 3 Mod Review. For today we will be reviewing the Glory of Communism 4.0 version B or version 2. So this is the second version with the more OP generals. So let me teach you to get uh, unlimited medals. All you have to do is do Blitzkrieg. After that, yep, let's get to the conquest. Boom. So let's start with London. So as usual, it's the same as the last version. Paris. But they added way more generals. I think generals are like way more OP. Let's grab a punch then. But the Darian's of ADT. So yeah, more OP generals. Everybody's like this good now. So let's go to Italy. Let's check. Even the Italian generals are good in this game, but not as good as the Soviet ones. Or the German ones. We got Mannerheim. Just like minor generals, minor countries. This, uh, we got Martin von Eisenhower, Lenin, Otto, some Poland both. We got also got like War Master, so he's a famous YouTuber in the Easy Tech community. I think you should go check his channel out, it's pretty cool guy. Let's go to CN, uh, Communist generals, so we got NB over there. I win is empty. Nanking, the nationalist generals. We got Nantong, so we got normal commandos. The one we get from the conquer. Uh, then Indochina's empty, same with the Philippines. Let's check out. Did you check Japan? So yeah, here are the Japanese generals. As usual, they're pretty OP, so you can see there. So I never see even a general with bronze stars. Everybody has like max out stat. So that's it for the generals. Let me show you the conquest. So it's basically just World of Iron conquest, but with uh, Glory of Communism units, if I remember properly. So yeah, as you can see here, units have changed and generals are. I think they're way OP now. See, so it feels it. It has the formula for the world of iron but it's also kind of different at the same time rocket launchers aren't as OP in this game though we got this huge german army as usual it also has the texture of men of war actually a bit of it we got the spanish civil war happening with like way OP generals we also got fighter planes around. What else? Uh, so everything looks about normal. Uh, Japan has a huge fleet. China still pretty split up as usual. But with very OP generals. So instead of the anime generals, you get replaced with historical but still pretty OP generals. So let's move on to another year. That was 1937. This is 1939. The war was broken out in Europe. So this is 1939. It still looks about the same, except everything looks more crowded in this one for some reason. So we got the exiled Korean government over there. We got the colony of the Philippines, same with Indonesia. We got the Italian Ethiopian War happening over here. Spanish War, Spanish Civil War has now ended. And World War II has just begun. South America still, and yeah, that's it for this year. So, as usual, just the texture for uh, World of Iron, just the map of World of Iron and the texture for Glory of Communism. This is 1943, so the German army is near Moscow, but the Soviets then. So this is the year where Germany, Russia actually pushes back now. So as you can see here, we got a uh, uh, see how disgusting it is. We're gonna have a tough time as the Soviet Union. But the Japanese doing pretty well in China. Uh, they took most of Indo Indochina, but we got the Vietnam rebels. We got Rommel now in Africa with his behemoth tank. 
see how that tank goes against the planes. Let me just shoot it now. So what else? We got the free fans here over down here in Africa. We got the Italians winning the war. We got America pretty normal. And go next year please. This is nine. So this is the Cuban Missile Crisis here. It's basically the same as the last one. Let's hope it doesn't crash in this one. It seems to work perfectly, and it's not crashing yet so far. So we got a Soviet force here. We got Africa, some part of it liberated, or like free now. We got Pakistan, and we got most of Southeast Asia here now. The PRC winning the civil war, we got the South and North Korea, we got the Soviet force in Cuba, and we got also got the East and West Germany split. So that's it for that year, let me check. Soviet Union is dying, so this is the one with the Russian Federation. So you can see here, the Russian uh, Federation. Almost beating the communists up, and their last stronghold is in Moscow, which looks hard to take actually. So what else? Uh, what the hell? Is here? You can see Africa free now. Same with the mid, and same with Southeast Asia. So there's way main, way more nation now this year. But the main thing about that year was the Russian or the Russian Federation and the other country. Year 2018. So this is the modern day one. We got modern borders, kinda. We got NATO or the European Union. We got the uh, Russians, the Chinese. We got uh, Myanmar, Pakistan. We got still all this independent African state and more Middle Eastern nation now. We also we see the split or the fall of the Soviet Union, so we got Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, uh, Turkmenistan, all the stands. What else? South America looks about right, except with the Guinea nations, they're independent now. So yeah, that's it for the 2018 year, just with more modern high-tech stuff. Let's check out this, whatever, oh this is the World War One. so... Germany is being OP as usual, and I think you can only build light tanks and artillery units and infantry units in this year. You get Austria, Hungarians, you get Ottoman. Italy is in our side, surprisingly. You also got the Qing Dynasty with the Republic of China, all this war nation coming up. War lords. You got Africa still split, or between your nations. Yeah, I guess so, that's it for this year. Lenin's revolution. So when did the Russian revolution happen? It's 1917, around there. So where is Lenin? It's not here yet, but we can see the warlords are winning. I think that's the Yen Shikai faction. I can't remember properly at this point. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we got Semyon Mignoni over there as a general. So the Germans are really close in Paris, and they can take it anytime they want, but the French are resisting pretty hard. What else? Um, Africa split up. The Ottomans getting landed by a British force. And we still got the, the Arabian Revolution. And that's about it for that year. We got the Irish now. So the Eastern Rising. I don't know if that worked out for them. Mm. This is the classic thing, the one of the first few like mods. It was pretty cool back in its day actually. <coughs> Sorry about that. So this is one of the earliest mods. And yeah. So you can see the world split up between communism or Amer uh, democracy. 
if I remember properly, communist in that year is pretty OP. So what year is this? 1947. So that's directly after the war or after the war, those years. So this will be the last year we're reviewing and we show you. So we got the Germ the Allies splitting up Germany. So yeah. What else we got? We got the Chinese Civil War happening with way bigger stuff happen going on. We got the Vietnam War. We got the German Fort right here. Holy cow, I never seen these units. They look really cool actually. Damn. So we got the German Fort right here. We got the exiled government of Brazil over here. So I think that's it for this mod. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!